and we're live. <laughs> Good afternoon. It, yeah, episode two. It's yeah, it's lunchtime on the west coast where I'm at in Bakersfield. I'm trying to get the right angle. It's and three then, o'clock uh, over here in Pittsburgh. In, in Pittsburgh, yeah. What's happening over there? Um, nothing, dude. Do you have do you have a like good side and bad side of your face? No. You, have you ever bad. thought about? It? I I don't have a good side or bad side. Either. Like I can't figure out like you know what I mean. Like I see like well. So I used to have a girl that worked for me, and she'd always be like, "Take pictures from this side of my face," and I'm like, "Why?" And she's like, "That's the good side," and I'm like, "You have a good side?" And she's like, "Yeah, dude. Everybody has a good side and a bad side." And I was like, "I was completely unaware of that." Dude, here's something that I noticed when we do these these uh, streamyard podcasts, whatever. Um, my nose looks like it's slanted. It looks like it's broken. It looks like it like go like like goes that way, but yeah, it looks like it's broken. Like like you got in a fight and somebody broke your nose. It's kind of cool. But I, yeah, I did get in a fight, as a matter of fact. And got your nose broken. It was it was at a Chino Brothers event back in '97. That's right. <laughs> Everybody was banged up on ayahuasca. So <laughs> yeah, ayahuasca. ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all right. So let's get into that real quick, and then and then let's talk about stories. So, um, are you familiar at all with ayahuasca? Hi- ayahuasca. How do you spell that? Because I thought it was ayahuasca. Oh, maybe it is ayahuasca. Is it ayahuasca? When, when you've taken it, you're high, Awaska. I guess. <laughs> well, like, because, and don't don't quote me on what how to say things. Like, uh, dude, don't look at my arm because I, I just did it. We we're doing a TikTok, and I wrote something on my arm that's that that is probably not podcast friendly. Um, okay. but it's it's hot in here right now, so I took my jacket off. Um, yeah. So so high Awaska, Apparently, like these people are going to like um, South America. And doing these ceremonies where they're taking ayahuasca with a shaman. And then the shaman's like, okay, I'm going to show you your life. But, dude, if you watch it, like I watched a special on Vice where this dude's doing ayahuasca. Dude, it is like like the guy's freaking out the entire time. And then they come back and it's like, yeah, I saw devils. And also, I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you hey. think this is a good idea? <laughs> hey, pause that for one second. If you're watching okay. right now, you can put in comments and we can put them up on the screen. So, yeah. Yeah. Put, put some, if you've tried ayahuasca, ayahuasca put, yeah. put put a little blip like, yeah, I've tried it before. Put it in the comments. It well, is it ayahuasca or ayahuasca? You can tell us that. How about that? Because yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea if it's ayahuasca or ayahuasca. Yeah, so – well, crap. So, so yeah, like in my mind, I'm just like, dude, so you've got these guys – like – like people freak all the way out, Adley, when they're on ayahuasca. Like, and when I say freak out, like they see the devil, like they see like demons trying to eat their skin, and then they come back and they're like, "Oh, that's awesome! I'm gonna do it again." Like, why would you do that again? Why would you do it in the first place if you knew what was gonna happen? And then why would you do it again on the second place? Now, I could be totally wrong. Maybe that was only one guy that that you know, and, and that one special I watched, but it did not seem like an enjoyable. Uh, Experienced by any that, stretch of the imagination. Yeah, that sounds horrible. And, and the thing, I've, I've got a buddy that tried it. He actually did try it. And, and he said he was down in wherever at Mexico, down south. And he had to, like, you had to find the guy. Was it a shaman or yeah, something? Yeah, shaman. Yeah, yeah. You have to reach out to him. And there's a whole thing like, hey, I'm not responsible for what happens to you when you try this. Now, it's supposed to open your mind, enlighten you, all that stuff. But... Uh, if yeah, I'm not responsible. If you accidentally think you can fly, and, and fly off a cliff and die, I'm not responsible. So, so the shaman, the shaman tells him, "I'm not responsible for you." As he's taking ayahuasca, yeah. like you're taking and, ayahuasca with a guy who's supposed to clearly know what ayahuasca does, and then he's like, "Hey, guess what? Whatever happens after you drink this or eat this or or smoke this ayahuasca, whatever happens next, that's not on me." Like, is that that's kind of the the understanding of it, ba- yeah, that's basically what it is. But remember, I don't. Did you watch Young Guns? Was it Young Guns? Didn't they they do ayahuasca in that movie? No, was it was that- peyote. That was- it was peyote. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm wondering about the effects of that too, because me personally, I'm a I'm I'm scared if anything messes with my head too much. Yeah, right. dude, absolutely. Like I'm I'm freaked all the way out all the time as it stands. So now going forward, it's like, bro, I, I, the last thing I want is to be freaked out even farther. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so. I can't control my own reality sometimes, you know? So I mean, just knowing that, like there's something in my head. So the brain's working too hard and seeing things. Yeah. That's too scary. Way too scary. Oh, hold on. Drago said, 
Refuse. What does he say? Refusal to trip sit. XD. See that? Like, I don't XD know what that means. He's the face, like, yeah, like making a face, like, ha. Oh, right? okay, I got you. Refusal Drago, to right? Is that right? Re refusal to trip sit. Well, Drago, is it? You tell me. Is it ayahuasca or ayahuasca? Like, we haven't figured that part out yet either. So, okay, so, so we're 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 going with this. Whether it's ayahuasca or ayahuasca, this is really hard because right now Gavin's selling a mod behind me. Oh. And I want to turn around and help him, but I'm like, I, I, I kind of want to keep my head in this. So let's see if you can see this. I'm on, I'm on my lunch break. I'm at, I'm yeah. Up, so. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I personally, when it comes to whether it's ayahuasca or ayahuasca, I'm just going to have to go with, I'm not doing it. That's, that's the beginning and the end of it. But <laughs> if you want to, if you guys are watching, I'm going to do this like comment. I did yesterday. Yeah, feel free to comment, you know, type in the comments what you, if you want, you don't have to, you know, full, you know, you don't have to go full disclosure or anything, but if you want to want to share a quick story about something you've tried and, and probably even regretted because there was a time too back, Mike and I used to, used to, you know, work in the clubs and stuff and I dabbled in, in and that was just something light and I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go crawl up down in the DJ booth and just fetal position, not come out for hours. And Mike, I don't know if you remember that that time. Oh, absolutely. So I don't know. So I'll tell you. Do you mind if I tell the story? Is this a tomato? We'll we'll, we'll just leave it. In. We won't say what it was, but we'll just say <laughs> you can you can say my reaction to it. And it was it was on the scale of like like drugs, say like acid and ayahuasca being like ten, like way up there. This is probably on the one, one, uh, one out of ten. So it wasn't like a hard drug by any means. Well, it's but. legal in in most states at this point. If you guys could and guess what it is, so <laughs> and and in the state that Adelaide is in, and I sell it actually. So it's not like ayahuasca. Um, so if, if, if what happened was me and Adelaide, this we're how old do you think we were? Twenty nine, mid twenty, mid, mid or late, mid or late, mid to late. I would 20s. say late twenties. Even closer. Um, we were in our late twenties. And I'm sorry for everybody now I'm sitting outside and now I'm cold. That's why I was wearing a <laughs> F word jacket and the F in beginning. I got to, you know what I got to do? I got to figure out how to F and do this when I have customers. Cause like <laughs> there's, there's going to be customers. And I was like, eh, dude, we went 45 minutes without a customer. And then of course, right when I'm, we start and I'm like, oh sweet, let's get into this. The customers are like, Hey, can you sell us the most difficult thing for us to buy in the shop? That's going to make us talk super loud behind Mike. And I'm like, all right, well, so then I'm bouncing from the shop, right? Like, I'm like, well, I'll just go sit outside and talk with Adelaide then and, and keep it moving. Well, I'm walking out and they're like, hey. And it's like, you do see I have a microphone and <laughs> headphones on and I'm looking into a screen. That would kind of tell me, that would kind of tell me, hey, this guy's probably doing something. All right. Uh, well, now let's... well, I would just assume that you're on a phone call and you really like microphones. Because <laughs> <laughs> are you on your phone right now? No, I'm on a, I'm on a gigantic tablet. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like I'm on a gigantic tablet. You could see your face super large, and then it's like, "Hey, buddy, you want to talk?" It's like, "No, I don't want to talk. I want you. I want you to stop." All right. Um, Drago. So Drago says, "I think it's pronounced ayahuasca." Okay. Also, I, all right. Ayahuasca. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. let me get. Let, I'll get into the story. So Adley at the time was dating a nefarious lady, um, and and she she did nefarious things. This lady could not stand me. Just in case you guys were wondering. Um, and, yeah, she couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, I'm, and I'm saying that jokingly, but if you were like in the 90s, it was we well, were like best friends, but there was people that would come to be like, man, that, that's a whole nother, a whole nother podcast. Oh, I'm not mad. Like, I'm not, I'm not like offended. No, but, but, but she was an awful person though, bro. You were dating an awful person. Like, like yeah, you dated okay. nice people who I liked, and this person was an awful person. Well, because she and, and on top of it, she was using you know illicit uh, products. You know, she was she was she was doing uh, uh, the the devil's lettuce and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so Adley came to the club, and uh, and he's like, "Hey, dude, I took this out of the ashtray at my house. You want to try it?" And I was and I was pretty experienced at this uh, at, at at this. That's Whatever where I got it called. from. Yeah, that's where you got it. Wow. I won't say her name, but it was a car. I was gonna say, was it a mixed drink or a or an alcohol or a, it was a car? Her, okay. Her name was a car. Her name was okay. a car. So now you know who I'm talking about. You uh, go. an upscale upscale German car was her name. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, so yeah, so and and just in case you guys were wondering, um, 
her name matched what she did for a living. And I'll leave it at that. So, so if, yeah, regard, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Regardless, so Adlai's, Adlai's um, he, he's dating this nefarious woman whose name is the same as a car, and, and she could not effing stand me. And yes, I, I'll, I'll give Adlai 100%. There were a lot of people who couldn't stand me. But this particular person was, was not a good person. She was, she was not a good person. And, and he dated a lot of good people. Anyways, back to what I'm saying. So, so he's like, hey, dude, I got this out of the ashtray. You remember this story or am I, am I just telling the story by myself? No, keep going. Keep going. Because I, I, I remember bits and pieces. But after I, I partook in the, in the said uh, illicit substance, yeah, I was pretty much like, I just want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty experienced at this particular substance. And once again, like Adlai said, if ayahuasca is a 10, this would be a, a – three or something you know so <clears throat> like can every motorcycle with a loud pipe please drive <laughs> past me right now i trust me by next week i will figure out a solution to be like we're closing for this half hour or something i don't know <clears throat> anyways back to what i'm saying so so um so adley's like hey man oh i have the perfect solution hold on a second and this and it's just to kind of while he's adjusting there while you guys are watching this is at a club that probably the capacity is, I'm going to say, 2,000 people. Yeah, it was a pretty big club. It, it's a bit, It was a big club. It, this is in Tucson, but it was a huge club. Huge. Yeah, it was a pretty big club, and it was a big night for some reason. Was it Was it our night, or was it Chico's night? I can't remember. I can't remember. if it was, But it was, a, it was definitely a Friday or a Saturday, like a weekend night. And yeah, was, so we're clubbing, we're DJing, and it, it, whether it was our night or we were guest hosting for another DJ, I cannot remember. But what I can remember is Adlai brings this thing out. We'll call it a cigarette if it makes you feel any better. And they said, hey, and he said, hey, man, I've got this blah, blah, blah cigarette. Would you like to try it? And I was like, dude, I used to love them cigarettes back when I was a kid. <laughs> so I was I'm chiefing on it. He's chiefing on it. And like before I know it, we're both feeling the effects of the cigarette. But I didn't realize that Adlai got super paranoid. And, and all of a sudden it was just like, oh, oh no, that's yeah, that's not it. That's not a good thing. And Adley was bugging, and I'm like, bro, you're good, dude. We're good. Don't worry about it. We are good. Everything's good. And he's like, let's just bounce. Let's just bounce. I'm like, bro, we got to get paid. Like, <laughs> we got to DJ this club. No, dude, it was Chico because we're both on the mic. Yeah, remember? It was when Steve the Idiot was like, hey, man, I'll hire both of you guys so you won't be at another club. I'll right. pay you both 100 bucks, and then that, that way you'll have to be at my club on Saturday or Friday. It was, it was Saturday because Friday was always the rock. Um, now, did we get a hundred bucks, or did we share a hundred bucks? No, we got we both got a hundred bucks cash. Oh wow! Yeah, and then he tried to make us share a hundred bucks cash, and that's when you were like, "I'm quitting. Do you want to quit with me?" And I was like, "Wow, well, I would like this extra hundred bucks this last time, and then I'll quit." <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so why look at every time I move this thing, it's like getting my face out of there. Okay, one of these days we're gonna know what the f word we're doing, and it's just not today. <laughs> Anyways, so so I had to start feeling the effects of it. And he's bugging out. And I didn't realize, because me and Adelaide never did that stuff together. Like, and, and I wasn't really doing that stuff, and he wasn't really doing that stuff. So it wasn't like, oh, here's a couple, you know, druggies that, that enjoy their, their whatever. It's like, here's two guys who work 90 hours a week, and one of them is dating a nefarious woman, and she <laughs> left nefarious things in his ashtray. And so you were bugging out. It was, it was probably the first time and the only time you and I enjoyed that stuff together. <laughs> And I'm calming enjoy. you down. No, you didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah. And then I'm calming you down. I'm like, dude, calm down. You're good. Nobody's, nobody's going to know. Nobody knows that you, you've partaken in that. And then I go inside and, and I have the mic on and I just start screaming. I am so high right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Adley's eyes were just like, <gasps> and I'm like, I just thought it was funny. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, why don't we get off into some camp radio? I know that we aren't the most professional uh, broadcasters yet. We're getting there, I promise you. I will figure out a way around customers being there. Um, like, I, I don't know. I, I'll figure it out. Because the worst part for me is, is that the customers come in, and my customers are not the best people. My customers think they own my shop sometimes, and I'm just like, holy God, please, just leave me alone. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, like, like, it's like, dude, I'm, I'm clearly doing something, you know, but eh, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. They have the right to buy you cigarettes. All right. So let's get off into camp radio Adlay. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. What do you, where, where did we leave off? We left off when we both first started our college radio career, correct? I, you know what? And, and I think uh, we talked a little bit about maybe, didn't we talk about the reason I went into it is because my buddies all, dude, you have turntables in Orange County yeah. at home. And yep. uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay. And he's like, go get him. And he went with me. And then we got him and then brought him back and doing a house party. And then that guy, I want to say Bill was his name. He's all, dude, you gotta, you gotta come over and work at camp radio, get a show. I'll, I'll help you get a show. And I was like, um, all right. You know, cause I just like anything, if you got a passion for something, <clears throat> I feel like it's going to find a way to, to suck you back in whatever it is. And, and yeah. you know, cause I mean, Mike, I don't know why you went to, to University of Arizona. I went because I was thinking, like, I'm going to get a regular job, be an accountant or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But that radio was there. The hip-hop was there. The music was there. And, and it was like, okay, I'll try it. And then, you know, that's how we got into it. And I was like – Hold on real quick. Leo said, thankfully, none of my customers my, – thankfully, my customers aren't that bad. Leo's at my other shop. And then Drago said, yeah, I'm a dick, I'm a dick with customer. You're not, Drago. Like, you, <laughs> you like to have fun. But anyway, sorry. All right, oh. let's get back to this. Yeah, Leo said you're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so it kind of it kind of went from, you know, uh, this is crazy to think about. I think I think whatever it is, if you've got, you know, if there's a higher higher power whatever, whatever you believe in, I think this is one that kind of pulled me into that. And uh um, you know, I started doing my show. I was happy that and, and you know, Mike, a big deal if you guys are DJs or anything, turntables back in the 90s. I would drop my whole paycheck at the record store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I yeah. would go, go there. <laughs> Easy. Yes. Easy. Yeah, you remember this? You'd be like, okay, I got paid 100 bucks, whatever job you had. And I went right to the record store, spent all of it on vinyl. And when you got to – when you're doing college radio, they actually promote a lot of uh, music on vinyl, on wax, on records. So you're like, this is sweet. Wait, I'm doing a show, and I can get free vinyl. And it was everything. I mean, you had – you had uh, uh, Bad Boy Records was all the Puff Daddy stuff. Yeah, everything, all the Biggie stuff. They had the locks. All, but anyways, the thing was, you get everything on vinyl, and it. Well, not I shouldn't say everything, but you got a lot of stuff on vinyl, and and it was great. And you got to talk to like people in the industry. You know, you're at this. What? How many watts were we? Three watts. An AM. Yeah, signal. we weren't. We, I don't even know if we were three watts. That's the thing. Is it, it was like whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was okay. a super weak signal. It was it was AM radio. I think you basically had to be standing either in the building or right next to it to hear it. But but when you're on there, you're like, okay, this is great. I'm getting I'm getting free free records. Let's do this, you know. So it was great. Um, well, you had to be. I think you had to be in the actual um, in the actual student, student union. union to hear it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, they would pipe it through the speakers while you're eating lunch, so that was kind of cool too. Um, but but. Uh, I was like, I love this. I'm back into it now. I'm sucked in, and uh, and we're doing it. And then over time, it went to that same guy, Bill, when he's all like, hey, man, that's awesome. You got your, your hip-hop show going. Why don't you, uh, you know, we're looking for a station manager. Why don't you be the station manager? And I'm just thinking, like, that's way too much work, man. I like my music. But then I'm thinking, like, okay, well, you know what? I came to college to get a real job. It's management experience. Maybe, you know, maybe this, okay, it'll look good on my resume. Because, you know, when you're in college, you think, oh, yeah, it's going to be so easy to get a job when you graduate. That it'll be great and blah, blah, blah. I'll put you, especially with station manager on your resume. Station manager of a college radio station at a big school. University of Arizona was a big school. It's a university. So, um, so I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot, whatever. And if I remember correctly, didn't you have, didn't we have to vote for it even? Like you had to, you had to. You did. Run? Well, it, I don't know if you had to vote for that one, but I know that you had to apply. Was it, was it a, I can't remember if it was, uh, um, if it was a, uh, like, like you were running for a position or if it was a, um, if it was like, like an a, elected. I feel I felt like you you had to put your resume in for it though because I remember I put my resume in for something there. It was oh crap I can't remember what I think it was promotions director. It wasn't it wasn't mobile DJ director. I think it was promotions director. But did you honestly now that we're talking about this? Did you honestly think <clears throat> that 
that you were going to like parlay your experience as a college radio station manager into some form of management in real life? Did you really think that? I'll tell you what. Every time I applied for a job after, I put that on there. Station. Did you really? Yeah, I'm sure I did. I'm sure. I mean, it sounds cool, right? I mean, if if you were going to hire me or Mike and you saw a station manager, who knows? But then again, <laughs> I definitely put that on there. I'm sure I did. Like, oh, yeah, I was a station manager. I dude, this Like, I can see that for radio, like putting it on radio. But like when you were a social worker, you put that on there? Well, I'll pro- well yeah. Maybe. I'm not mad at you for this, Adley. I'm not like, you know, be right. Well, I'll, I'll go a step further, Mike. I got when I because after station manager, I became general manager um, of of the of camp radio. But I actually went and got cards made. Holy crap! You got cards made for camp radio? Camp? camp I wonder if, did they get them for me or did I actually pay for them myself? I can't remember. But I remember, and you know, this this is probably out of Mike's playbook too. I would give them to girls. Every time. Hold I'm on a sec, real quick. <clears throat> I can see you doing that, and I can see me doing that. <laughs> I just saw Yerm popped up, and he said, "What up, dudes?" and 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 he was on the screen. So I want to say, "What's up to Yerm?" Sorry, Yerm. I, uh, me and Adler are in the middle of this crazy one. And <clears throat> Drago says, "My uncle and cousin spun vinyl. I love chilling with them, mixing." Word, dude. Here's like nothing like vinyl. I don't want to complain about the shop. I love the shop. I'm a shop owner. I love Tiny Box Vape Shop. I love vaping. But I do not like some of our customers when it's like, dude, come on, please just buy stuff and leave. Like this lady talked to Gavin like she was trying to get him to marry her or something. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Let's get back to let's get back to college. I'm serious. I'm like, dude, tell, like, him, tell him to put his ring back on. Tell him to put his ring back on. Gavin's not married. Um, <laughs> oh, not, anyways, no, no, he's single. Uh, hey, but, hey, well, he has he has a girlfriend, but he's not married. We got a shout out shout out Tiny Box Vape Shop, anyways, but. Oh yeah, that's a whole nother podcast. Would be working retail and customers because you're still a retail shop. You're gonna have oh, dude, I've there. never worked retail before. I opened this place. Never. I've never worked retail before. Never. And and like I'm like, this is awful. Like retail is awful, dude. All right, let's get back into radio for two more minutes, and then let's let's see if that's we can get a new podcast. story in. If we can't, oh well. Um. <clears throat> so all right, so your buddy talks you into going to camp radio. Um, you have your, your vinyl and then how long before they wanted you to be station manager? I, I'm saying within, it was the same semester. So I'm talking months at the most, at the most. And, uh, I remember the dude that did it before me and I, cause you remember, I, I don't know what room we're in, but it was a big auditorium room for yeah, like, yeah, yeah. meetings and, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, there, whatever, you just kind of go over everything and talk about whatever, um, but, you, you know, he'd go up there and just kind of be complain about, hey, all right, you guys, you know, you got to make sure you clean up the studio after you leave and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's looking, you know, back then there was no phones to look at. But, you know, you just be kind of like, all right, whatever, you know, kind of doing your thing. And then so I thought station manager, you just got to kind of make sure people keep the studio clean or whatever. So I was like, all right. Now, um, I even I want to say the next semester after that was the general manager. But, dude, you go up there, you talk about whatever. I, I don't even I couldn't tell you what I talked about as station manager going up in front of everybody. Um, but I'm sure we talked about in the beginning that place would be packed. But over time, those meetings would get less and less and less people. And I even think like it was a requirement. You had to go to the meetings in order to keep I feel like it was. Show. Yeah. To keep your show, you had to go to the meetings. Yeah, I feel like it was, dope. but that was the most listeners you had was at that F word meeting. Like, dude, there were nobody listening to that radio station. So you might as well get your groove on. You might as well play records at that meeting. Like, hey, man, nobody's going to hear this record except for you fools. So here we go. <laughs> Gangstar. Full clip. Bah, 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 yeah. You know, like you could go um, deep. Definitely go deep. Definitely go deep. Dude, I don't even remember any of those people's names. Do you? I remember what was the pretty girl that I liked a lot? What was her name? Do you remember? Well, there's a lot of them, probably. I'm gonna say, Never mind. I'm gonna say Gabby. <laughs> Gabriella, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabriella, Gabriella. Okay, okay, yeah. So no, it was Gabrielle. Yeah. She wasn't Latino. Brandon says, "What's up? What's up, Brandon?" <laughs> Dude, we're... Yeah. I don't maybe remember. next week I'll do it in Kennedy. Anyways, go now, on. How now on the on the the just speaking of the people, the members of camp, I guess. How cool a crowd was it? Do you think? How cool a crowd? Nerdy, was it? nerdy. College radio is the nerdiest thing you could possibly do in the history of the planet. Do you agree with me on that or not? It, and I'll add to that. The one thing is I was probably the only hip hop guy. Everything else was probably. Morrissey. 
<laughs> yeah, like kind of, you know what I mean? It was kind of, yeah, alternative. The cure. Punk rock. But, I mean, you, you, were, you had a punk show, right? Yeah, but like it wasn't punk rock or alternative. It was like it was like like new wavy like ah, music, and there was always bands you'd never heard of, and they'd always go up there and talk about them during the meetings. They're like, "Well, if you like Giant Mouse, then you'll really like Sam Smith," and you're like, or "I guess Sam Smith is a person." Hold on. If you like Giant Mouse, then you'll really like Telaropa, and you're like, "I've never heard of either of these bands. I've never heard of any of the bands you're talking about." Um, now the thing yeah, is, so, though, we had a sticker for every band. Oh yeah, that's true. Those and teachers everywhere, everywhere. But oh, remember and like you got points for being good. Remember you got points for being good. Yeah, and then you, and then you could turn the points in at the store. Like they had a camp store, and you get T-shirts if you had so many points. So like for every show, you got half a point. And then you probably just took stuff. What am I talking? Dude, one time I, one time when we were in college radio, I took Paul Rojas with me to a show, and like he was so he was at my show right. And then I was, he was pulling music. And so I thought he was pulling CDs for me and he's just stacking them, stacking them. We're leaving and he's trying to take them. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And he's like, isn't that why you're in college radio to steal music? I'm like, no. (laughs) Yeah. He was serious. He was like, Hey, aren't you in it for for stealing music? All right. All right. We got, we got two minutes left and, and uh, this hasn't been our best broadcast, although it will get better. Um, But are you having fun? We got one like. We're dude. One like there's yeah, there's good. six people watching. They can all give us a like. But um, all right. So so I want to. You know what? Because we were gonna do the news, but <clears throat> let's just let's just skip the news. I want to go into TikTok. I know I wanted to save this for a couple episodes, but I I, I want to do it right now because. <clears throat> Sorry, Baloo. It's thank you. This is insane to me. I should have muted the mic. Huh? That shows you how how much unprofessional <laughs> I am. Um, this is insane to me at this stage, and maybe you can explain. Why do people want to be TikTok famous? Explain that to me. Like, have, uh, now you're not a TikTok guy, or you are a TikTok guy? I'm on TikTok. I'm awful on it. Um, I'm more of a probably Facebook a watcher. first. Yeah, Facebook first, Instagram second, and then Twitter, and then yeah, TikTok's way. I tried the Snapchat stuff, and I just, uh, dude, it's like, uh, it, it it drives me crazy. But I, dude, I think a lot of it is uh, you think about being being socially famous. You hear about people that are famous on on Instagram or whatever TikTok, and everybody feels like, "Hey, I've got a phone, I can be famous too." And you know, I mean, Mike, you built up your TikTok, phenomenal, phenomenal. Thank man. you, it's thank amazing. you, thank you. And, and uh, but, but dude, Mike, Mike does stuff every day, you know, because I dude, yeah, I five times a day, yeah. five posts a day. Yeah, and I talked to somebody even maybe a couple days ago talking about the podcast, you know. And, and I come from doing social too. I mean, I do, I do on my Facebook, I do a lot of posts, you know, I only do like one a day, but it's like a five or six minute clip. But anyways, they're like, Oh yeah, my boyfriend did a podcast back in 2018. And it was, and you're thinking like, okay, it's been three years. You, you gotta, you gotta um, keep doing it. But I think the, allure, <laughs> the you know what I mean? The, the allure is I can be famous. I can be seen. And I can do it with, you know, with the tools I have right now. You know, I've got a Cricket Unlimited phone plan. Dude, I could be live all the time. You know what I mean? I mean. Chris Pearson says, what's up, Mike? What's up, Chris? Ha- ha- question, um, how come girls always post selfies? I, I don't know. But no, but like, I'm being honest with you with this whole TikTok famous thing. It's like, okay, why? Like, you, you have no talent. And, and I'm not trying to be mean. Like, you see hundreds of thousands of people with zero talent whatsoever. And it's, it's, Hey, I just desperately want to lip sync this two and a half men line. I, I, I want to do a dance. I'm not very good at, um, 48 year old women. They just want to show their boobs all the time that are married. And I'm like, I'm like, (laughs) I'm like, 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 well, why? Like, like, and, and dude, I'm telling you, I like there's this lady who I follow on TikTok and every day she puts out like a Moulin Rouge style musical number where she like shows her bustier and like like tries to show like her, her cleavage and stuff. And it's like, OK, cool. Um, you're getting 150 views like you're willing to show your, your body for 150 views. Like I don't like I cannot understand why people so desperately want to be famous like what's the deal and now I, I just thought of the answer i think she's doing that because she needs to build up her only fans page 
Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, but you're probably right. I didn't think about that. So you're, what you're saying is people go on TikTok and then show show the booty, show the show the goodies, but it's so that they can build up their OnlyFans page, correct? Well, you know, I mean, and I think people, you know, come on, this has been forever, even before phones, before all that. We remember how many de- the, how many demos did we get at a club gig from whatever artists, rappers, singers, whatever, and and people just think that it's easy, think they want to be rich, and, and think like I can do this too because you know, look at me. But you're just like. But if you're a rapper or a singer, even if you're a bad rapper or singer, you have a talent. Like I see people every single day on TikTok that aren't funny that are just like here's my opinion it's like dude nobody cares um yeah. well, let's see chris pearson says all that all the talent i have and i can't get a break well you got a lot of talent and yerm said that tiktok was keep chinese trying. spyware don't give yeah, up keep trying keep trying chris you'll be fine you'll be fine there's there's all this right. thing called social media that you can use to help launch your career Yes, go on TikTok and there's a bunch dude there's I'm telling you bro like there's there's 150 miles of untalented people on TikTok. Like I I, I can't figure out for every part of life of me. What I what I have figured out is the next time we podcast it's not going to be with me in this in this <laughs> shop. I promise you that. Like I will not be in the shop forever when we podcast cuz my other shop has this giant back room where no one will bother me. <laughs> and that's where I'm going. But from here on out, at 3 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. By the way, guys, we're about to wrap up. But check us out every Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to be podcasting for you guys. Um, I will be in Kennedy. So it's not going to look cool. That's the rub. It's, it's, it's going to look like this back room. Although, you know what I'll do? I'll go out in front of Kennedy where the wood paneling super dope. And then when people come in, I'll walk in the back room. And then you won't have to okay. hear traffic or me sitting on a, a, a wet patio chair or something like that. Um, oh, just playing, first, enjoying the, the combo. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. We appreciate Chris. that. Yeah. And, uh, if you guys want, you like it, share it, do all that stuff, whatever. But uh, but join us again the the time too, Tuesdays and Thursdays, three p.m. Pacific. No, I'm sorry, noon Pacific, three p.m. Eastern. Are you Eastern? Three p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay. noon Pacific. Noon. I promise we will get more and more tight. Adley's about to get his setup over there. He's gonna get one of these cool condenser mics, and um, I got he's it. gonna have an i seven. Well, he'll, he's gonna have an i7 um, uh, uh, processor. processor, yeah, i7 processor with 12 gigs of RAM. So, like, he'll just be able to make it look super cool and everything like that. Um, Drago says, "I'm swimming, streaming on Twitch, and have got no talent." Well, I mean, like, if you have the talent to play a video game, that makes sense. So, like, now that I don't have anybody here, and 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 presumably the phone will not ring next to me, I just kind of want to wrap this TikTok thing up, like. Yeah. So you have you have 14 I, I don't even know how many people let's say 14 billion people on this app and maybe maybe a million of them have talent maybe 100,000 of them have talent and and then it's just women showing their booty and and people trying to lip sync TV programs and dude people who have a million followers on this thing are getting paid $3500 a year to post 3 times a day Three thousand five hundred dollars a year, a year, dude, a year. Three thousand five hundred dollars, and everybody's vying to be TikTok famous. Like you're vying to be TikTok famous, and there's no money in this. No money, no money. All right, I, I might talk about this every single no, podcast, gotta, yeah. but we got to. Yeah, let's, let's, let's think go. about that for next time. Do we have an assignment for everybody watching? Let us know. Your yeah, sure. TikTok next time. There you go. Sure. <laughs> All right, Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays at two o'clock, guys. I promise you, I on my side won't keep it as sloppy. I apologize, but that's it. All right, Adelaide, <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining me, and uh, I had a really good time today. I hope you did. Hey, appreciate everybody it. watching and tuning in. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah.